I'm so excited, I'm literally drinking. Hello users of the internet and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're one of my current 520 subscribers, then welcome back, and if you're not, you're irrelevant. Today I'm here to talk about and celebrate something incredibly exciting. That being the fact that I recently attended the premiere of the iconic film The Disaster Artist. If you have tuned into my channel previously, you will know that I recently-ish reacted to the teaser trailer and was blown away by the glimpse of the amazing performances that I was able to see. I died. I literally died. I know when people say that they literally die, they mean figuratively, but I'm pretty sure that I lost all consciousness on this human plane, transcended into another spiritual realm, and then was transported back to earth. And I honestly genuinely believe that. If you have lived a life that is, up until now, quite frankly, not worth living, and are unaware of what The Disaster Artist is based on, the film is all about the making of The Room. The Room, I reiterate, is the best film ever made. Tommy Wiseau, director, producer, star, writer, all-round creator, is a god. If you haven't seen the masterpiece that is The Room, I do urge you to go and watch it now. However, I understand that people lead busy lives and have busy schedules. So because I'm the best and most dedicated content creator out there, I've decided to recap everything you need to know. Hi, Tommy. What a story, Mark. <laughs> I got the results of the test back. I definitely have breast cancer. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. And that's it, that's the whole movie. Look, I don't think it would be a lie of me to say that it is in fact my favorite film up until now. While I was at the premiere last weekend, I decided to film everything. I record everything. That I could. So please enjoy this montage of clips from the best night of my entire life. Hello, users of the internet. Um, we are currently at the Orpheum in Cremorne. Yes. It is the premiere, the Australian premiere of, of the, the Disaster, Disaster Artist. <laughs> um, we are incredibly excited. Aesthetic. It's all happening. Also, um, 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 look who's behind us. Oh, hi, Mark. Watch. We'll keep you updated as the night progresses. Wow. So we are in the theater. We are in the fourth row. These are our seats. This is our food. Yes. We're just waiting for Greg to come right. out. Yeah. However, when you watch this video, we'll have already become best friends with him, so it's what are you doing, Greg? Yeah. Come out, come on out, you pal. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. Greg Sestero. So my friend Eloise and I watched James Franco's impeccable creation, The Disaster Artist, and it is everything that I hoped it would be. If you are a The Room fan, if you are a fan of Greg Sestero's book, trust me, you will not be disappointed. It's hard to articulate how transcendent this piece of art was. At this point, I'm pretty sure the only person who can rival my love for The Room is James Franco, because he must have studied that and studied the book and just lived in the world and mindset of Tommy Wiseau for months. And I've never been more jealous of a human being in my life. It was insane, it was great. Because it wasn't just a straight up parody of the film and the creation of it, which you know, it totally could have been. James Franco's Seth Rogen. Sounds like the makings of a classic, raunchy, satirical comedy to me. Well, no, this was nuanced. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll give it a standing ovation at the end. Also the cast. Amazing. You've got James Franco as Tommy Wiseau. You've got Dave Franco as Greg Sestero. You've got Alison Brie as Greg Sestero's girlfriend. You've got Australia's Jackie Weaver as the mother with breast cancer. You've got Josh Hutchison as Denny. You've got Zac Efron as Chris R. Literally whenever Josh Hutchison and Zac Efron came on screen, I would just die. They were finding the whole experience as much of a lol as I was, and I was living for it. They were treating being a part of the disaster artist as the honor it was. Other members of the cast include Seth Rogen, Megan Mullally, Zoe Dutch, Brian Cranston. The list goes on. Honestly, I can't believe that this movie happened. James Franco's earnest portrayal of the man, the legend, the wondrous god, Tommy Wiseau, was flawless. 
And I'm actually being 100% serious that I think that this should be nominated for an Academy Award. I urge everyone watching this to go out and buy tickets to the film immediately because it is it is an inexplicably amazing experience. And I think that's all I have for you. If this was a waste of your life or if you were able to tolerate it, please thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I think you can stop dying now. <laughs>